Tell us about the difference between uh, Schaefer grabs and uh, dead jackets. Well, Schaefer grabs are... Uh, 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 some years they are really, really big damages from uh, Schaefer grabs, while leather jackets, it's just... Almost every year, the courses that have problems, they do have uh, leather jacket problems. But uh, the Schaefer grab is much in one year, and then you can maybe have five or six or ten years where you have no problems with Schaefer grubs. How does it affect the golf courses? Well, <laughs> on these uh, occasional years where they have big damages, and it's a big, big problem. But it's also a big problem that it could be very difficult to, to do um, research on it, because then we have maybe five or six, seven years where we have no problems, and then we're not able to make any experiments on how to get rid of them. What control methods are available? Yes, today we are have no uh, pesticides that are legal and I don't think we'll get any legal pesticides in the future here in Scandinavia. So we only have the biological control methods um, and yeah, we have to accept <laughs> more damages from insects, that's all. Yeah. So why is a good communication with the members and the green fee players uh, important? Well, you, I think that's easy to understand that, that the golfers should just uh, know that sometimes we have uh, ugly grass and uh, some uh, problems with the with the larvae in the soil and it's it's not because it is a problem with the greenkeeper or the course manager but it's just the way it is so yeah so what's your advice to the greenkeepers and course managers today yeah, good communication to the golfers because it's very important that the that the the greenkeeper won't be fired because he has uh, Schaefer grubs, <laughs> but uh, but because he yeah he, he can't do nothing against it. Where are we today when it comes to all these um, pesticide problems? Uh, regarding insects. Um, I think we should be much better to use the biological control. I mean, we have been talking about using biological uh, control, that's nematodes and, uh, and, and bacteria for many, many years. But because we have had the synthetic pe pesticides, then we have, well, most of it has, has been talking and no, no real uh, use of it. But now I think we just have to use it. We have to learn how to use it correctly. And that's not easy.